I'm telling you, Hoshino's got this thing in the bag. No way that FD can take the lead away from him now. What's up with Project D? I heard they had an amazing driver racing tonight. <laughs> you dumbass. Hoshino eats chumps like that for breakfast. Their FD could never keep up with his GTR 34. They should go ahead and call this thing. Save us all some time. Purple Shadow is going to destroy Project D. I see what you're trying to do. That's an impressive move. Pretty good for a kid his age. There aren't many drivers nowadays that would even attempt what he's trying to pull off. <laughs> if I were in his position, I'd have made a move for the lead already, but I'm not known for my patience. That still doesn't mean I should underestimate what this kid could be capable of. Now let's go! Project D keeps falling behind. Man, what's the FD's deal? This race could be over pretty soon. Another flawless victory for the Purple Shadow, huh? Not quite yet. It looks like Project D is working this from a different angle by using the variable speed rule. What are you talking about? The GTR has the advantage on the hill climb because of its superior traction. But the FD has the advantage on the downhill because it's a lot lighter. If Keisuke doesn't put too much stress on his tires during the hill climb, the D might actually be able to make a play for the lead on the downhill. Interesting. But wait, if what you're saying is true, then that means Project D is trying to outsmart Hoshino by staying behind? They're taking a huge gamble by using this strategy. Not to mention it's pretty damn ballsy of them to try something like this on somebody like Koza Hoshino. If they aren't able to catch up to him on the downhill, they're gonna be totally screwed. For real. Things are about to get a little crazy. That's a bold move, Ryosuke Takahashi. Man, I can't wait to see how this will turn out. Seriously, Kozo Hoshino in an all-out downhill battle with Keisuke Takahashi? They're both amazing drivers with something to prove. The two of them have to know what's at stake here. I gotta admit, dude, I'm getting pumped just thinking about it. Okay, I'm ready. This is what all that training was for. All right, bring it on, old man. Time to stop lagging behind. That lead is mine. Here. I just heard people saying KSK is running behind. There's no way that could really be true, right? <laughs> well, it might be. You gotta admit, the GTR does have him at a disadvantage. KSK must feel like crap right now. I know I would. <laughs> I think it's probably safe to say he's never had that happen to him before. Losing an opponent in the middle of a race like this could make or break you as a driver. Trust me. Man, I'd hate to be in his shoes. Trying to maintain concentration during a race is hard enough without having to worry about whether or not you're gonna catch up to the other driver in time and with everything else to focus on. No kidding. Oh, please. Keisuke has what it takes. Stay focused. Keep up the pace. If I'm going to keep my line through this next corner, I have to maintain this speed. Remember not to put too much stress on the tires. At the end of the corner, open up the throttle and book it.
I'm sure you recall Keisuke actually started to perfect his accelerator work during our battles in Saitama. He didn't realize he needed to until then. It couldn't have been easy for him to acknowledge his shortcomings, but look at how much he's improved because of all the hard work he's put in. Even I was shocked by how quickly he learned those techniques, and by how quickly he mastered them. When Keisuke sets his mind to something, it's just a matter of time till he makes it happen. This battle is far from over. If he wants to win this thing, he's gonna have to pull out all the stops. They're coming! in the lead dude i think that's hoshino's gtr the fd is nowhere to be seen this isn't a battle it's a damn massacre here we go with my 3-4 and you're only gonna regret it. Hey, Kenta. How many seconds was it? Okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for the call. He said he counted at the turnaround. It was six seconds, just under. I see. Nicely done, little bro. You were able to hold your own against someone you couldn't even see. But don't ease up. The real gamble is just beginning. <laughs> 